When it comes to games about organized crime, there are two distinct camps. The crime simulators like GTA and those that use the underworld as a setting, a stage to tell stories. And there's no better example of these than Ryuga Gotoku, which translates to Like a Dragon, but most of us will know it simply as Yakuza. Like a Dragon series has been going on for nearly 20 years, with eight mainline games, a slew of spin-offs, and much more to come in 2023 and 2024. But with such a long-running series, two age-old questions come up every time. What's it even about, and where do I start? Fortunately for you, I'm here to tell you all about that, and as always, I'll keep it short. Ryuga Gotoku is developed by Ryuga Gotoku Studios, aka RGG Studios, and is the brainchild of Monkey Ball creator Toshihiro Nagoshi, who desired to both create a game that explored the lives of Yakuza and also attract a more mature audience to games. To Sega higher-ups, this was a complete departure of his previously family-friendly work, and its limited target audience posed a risk, so they rejected his initial proposal. Fortunately, a new CEO after a second merger took an interest in the project after seeing a preview. Eventually, despite reservations of Sega executives, Negoshi persevered and Ryuga Gotoku was greenlit. Since then, RGG Studios has pretty much released a new game in the series or a spin-off every year, with 15 months the longest period between releases. And that was between Yakuza 2 and the first spin-off Kenzan, and that involved moving the series from its originally fixed camera perspective to full 3D. The series has had overwhelming success in Japan, but was much less known elsewhere until Yakuza 0 made the series a hit worldwide. Outside of Japan, up to the 8th mainline title used the Yakuza branding. During RGG Summit 2022, however, Sega confirmed that this would change to Like a Dragon for all future entries, in a move that promises maximum confusion on the line, especially as that 8th game's English title is Yakuza Like a Dragon. Like a Dragon follows Kasuba Kiryu, a man with four great talents. The first is attracting every thug, corrupt official, or Yakuza within a two-mile radius to himself. The second is becoming embroiled in some way in any conspiracy kicking off within the same radius. The third is the uncanny ability to solve all issues by punching people. Politics, economy, criminal enterprises, Kiryu can fix it by punching it hard enough. And its last talent is a wonderful singing voice. But that one doesn't come up even remotely as often as the other three. From Like a Dragon 7, we're introduced to Ichiban Kasuga, a former Yakuza turned part-time worker in Yokohama, who is another person born with the same talents as Kiryu, while adding a new one to the mix, an imagination so hyperactive that his enemies transform in front of his very eyes, becoming over-the-top personalities, as if they were human versions of monsters found in games such as Dragon Quest, the very series that Ichiban grew up playing. The series has eight main titles, with a ninth on the way, and a slew of spin-offs, but the ones readily available to play outside of Japan on PC and modern consoles are Yakuza 0, a prequel to the original game set in the 80s, Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2, remakes of the first two titles, the remastered versions of Yakuza 3 to 5, Yakuza 6, at the time thought to be the last game to ever feature Kiryu as a main character, Yakuza Like a Dragon, aka Like a Dragon 7, where the main series shifts to turn-based combat as hallucinated by the Dragon Quest-obsessed Ichiban. Like a Dragon Ishin, set in 19th century and following historical Japanese figures using Yakuza character models and voice actors. Judgment and its sequel Lost Judgment, a spin-off series following lawyer-turned-private detective Yagami Takayuki, bringing the series' trademark plot-punching to the legal drama and detective mystery genres. Like a Dragon, the man who erased his name, a spin-off releasing later in 2023 and following Kiryu between Like a Dragon 7 and 8. Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise takes the series' gameplay and puts it in the ultra-violent world of Fist of the North Star, so a lot of punching, kicking, exploding body parts, and Kiryu's voice actor saying a million times. Lastly, the upcoming Like a Dragon 8, which will have both Ichiban and Kiryu as protagonists. Stories are engaging and complex, often featuring both multiple layers of intersecting conspiracies and generational trauma and conflicts, with events in the past impacting the story being told in the present. Not only that, but Like a Dragon threads the needle perfectly in varying tone, scale, and pacing. Moments of levity are perfectly placed, dramatic ones are impactful, and the various confrontations are adrenaline pumping. And then the side stories take you on wild rides of plot and characterization, often bordering on the ridiculous, but never losing that wonderful touch of humanity. 
characters are wonderfully written, making them not just engaging, but memorable. The stoic Kiryu, the daydreaming Ichiban, the wild and often unpredictable Majima, with its iconic cries of Kiryu! The silent and deadly Saejima, the loyal to a fault Date, the ever adorable and dependable Haruka are but a handful of the unforgettable characters the Yakuza series has introduced over the years, each of them a complex individual with their own arcs to play over the course of the series. Combat is incredibly fun. It's intense, with tight controls and real weight behind every move. Every punch, every kick, every bite broken over someone's head, and every box of nails look and feel like they're having a tremendous impact. Not only that, but there are so many options available. Between upgrades, fighting moves, and even weapons at times, you can craft your own playstyle, such as my own, which is a bullheaded straight approach of punching until I beat the opponent while chucking down healing medicine to make up for my lack of skill. Heat actions elevate combat to a whole new level, a delectable course of ultraviolence with an incredible array of triggers. From an opponent laying on the ground to holding a weapon to facing an enemy with a firearm, heat actions are not just visually gruesome and fun as hell to execute, but they have the potential to change how a battle is going. The turn-based games take heat actions and turn them to job skills, and then take them to ludicrous levels, from throwing thumbtacks, slapping enemies with a lot of cash, pulling something out of a magic hat to calling down an orbital strike. And then they added summons. From cats and crawfishes to characters from across the various Yakuza games, each with their own unique sequence and powers, proving that the move to turn-based combat doesn't stop Yakuza combat from being a wild ride. There is a staggering amount of side content. Not just side stories, but minigames, gambling, go-karts, karaoke, you gotta sing Bakamitai at least once actual Sega titles in the arcade, property management, cabaret and club management, baseball, golf, darts, you name it. The Yakuza series gives you so much to see and find. There's always something to do and sink your teeth in, because most of the side content often has its own storylines to pursue. Lastly, the music. Like a Dragon doesn't actually have much in the way of music when you're out and about on the street. It's not your usual RPG where every zone has their own unique melody. Instead, you're left with mostly environmental city sounds until you engage with the content, from combat to side stories to minigames. Then the awesome soundtrack kicks in, and this is especially true for what is usually the highlight of a Yakuza game, the various set pieces where you fight your way through hordes of enemies of sizes rarely seen outside of Dynasty Warriors. The music elevates the action, the stakes, and the fun to a whole new level. For the mainline games, there are three entry points, Yakuza 0 or Yakuza Kiwami are two of them. While 0 is a prequel to the first game, and thus Kiwami, you don't need to play it to fully enjoy and understand the plot of Kiwami, so you can play either game first. Yakuza Like a Dragon has a brand new character, a new setting, and while there may be some elements present from previous storylines, you don't need to know them to understand what's going on. Beyond that, you will need to play the games in order to fully grasp the story and character arcs, especially as some threads are spun in one game, but pay off in another. As for spin-offs, you can play them without any prior knowledge of the main series. Even Judgment, which takes place in the same setting, has but tenuous links to the main series and no crossover whatsoever. We've already had a major release in 2023 with Ishin, and we'll do a second one with a Like a Dragon 7 spin-off, The Man Who Erased His Name, not to mention Like a Dragon 8 coming sometime in 2024. So if you've been on the fence about the Yakuza series, I recommend you start playing them, I can assure you, you won't regret a single minute of it. If you liked this video, please consider dropping a like, maybe hit that subscribe button. There's plenty of more to come, both new primers like these on different series, and some more in-depth look at some of them. Thank you for watching, and as always, happy trails.